Bonnie Gretchen is off today, as you well know, but we still have the events for you because she worked hard to put those together for you. So let's get right to it. We have the Latino Cultural Festival taking place. It's on September the 1st, of course, as we know. That is tomorrow. That's on Friday and Saturday at Market Street Park in Huntingburg, up in Dubois County. Friday and Saturday of Labor Day weekend for authentic Latin American food, cultural dances, and live musical performances. So be sure to attend that. Let's go to Gibson County. There's a lot happening there. So we'll start with the Labor Day celebrations. They're actually going to be going from uh, the 1st tomorrow all the way through Monday. It's going to take place at the Gibson County Fairgrounds. So they have free carnival rides and parking. But let's break it down for you kind of day by day. So here is Friday from 5 until 830. You have the Garden Tractor Pool. Now it's going to take you $10 to attend that. There's also a rummage sale. And yes, we're going to have that queen, right? So there's a queen contest and it looks like they're going to have a little bit of a tea going on there. So queen and some tea. All right, here's Saturday for you from eight in the morning till nine at night. So an all day long event. You got laser tag happening. You've got cornhole going on. You've got a scrapper race, which I believe a scrapper race is kind of similar to drag racing. If I remember correctly, uh, backyard cook off. Don't worry. I won't be there. So I won't take the trophy. Just kidding. <laughs> and then fireworks to end the night for you there. Let's go to Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., so a little short of that day. There is a blood drive taking place, so they do ask you kind of come there and roll up your sleeve. Got a rummage sale. Who doesn't love a good rummage sale? And then a car show. And then... Uh, if it, uh, you got to have yourself a demolition derby at a celebration. So they got that going on. That's going to be $10. All right, it continues on to Monday, 9 a.m. to 1030. So not too long. There's going to be a parade to kind of wrap things up. Carnival ride. If you forgot, if you didn't get to that rummage sale or you maybe considered something and you want to go back and buy it, you can. And don't know where they're going to do it. Maybe indoors. I guess it has to be indoors. Laser tag. That's always fun. All right, Labor Day celebrations there at Gibson County. Now let's talk about here a pancake breakfast. This is going to be at Heritage Hills Baptist Church, and they're going to have it on September the 2nd, which, of course, that's on Saturday. Now what they're doing here, this is going to benefit Isaiah 117. That's an organization that provides physical and emotional support in a safe and loving home for children awaiting foster care placement. That's very, very important. So do keep that in mind. It's $12 for that pancake breakfast, and it's going to be $7 for children. Monsters of Yacht with Pete Beckett. That's taking place at the Lincoln Amphitheater on September 2nd, Saturday at 7.30. You got an admission rate of $22, but tell you what, just fork out five more dollars there uh, and you'll get a VIP admission there for $27. New Harmony Ghost Walks are taking place. Yes, it's already getting time for that, right? Uh, it's going to be on Friday and on Saturday from 7 to 8.30. $20. You're going to meet at 402 North Street and then go on those ghostly walks. Wind down to the weekend, August the 31st. That is happening tonight there at the Wrights Home Museum. Now, that's something they do on Thursdays. Now, keep in mind, they're going to be doing that for a while, at least, I think, through early October. Uh, now, they're going to have the uh, Just Us Four performing there. It's going to go from 5 to 7 p.m. Keep in mind, it is a cash bar there for wind down to the weekend. So find your nearest ATM if you need a couple of dollars there. Scotty McCreary coming to Victory Theater tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Very, very well-known country musician there. And we've got First Fridays happening down in Haney's Corner. That's going to be music, food vendors. It starts at 530 and it goes tonight, uh, till 9 o'clock rather. Again, that is going to be at the Haney's Corner Art District. Uh, local vendors there making their works of art and such. Be sure to go and support them. All right. If you're not familiar with this one, it's called... Um, how, how, how should I pronounce that? Beautifica. That's what we'll go with. Beautifica 360. Now, that is a journey... Uh, a, a very immersive journey through worlds real and imagined. They're going to have mind-blowing particle fields to really just kind of give you that euphoric, uh, fantastic environment. Really, it, they're even describing it as impossible to describe. It's something you have to tend to a see. Uh, it's going to be at the Emsel Museum. Uh, $12, that's on Saturday, and it's going to go from 4 until 5 p.m. 
All right, we're talking Porch Fest now. On, it's on uh, Saturday and on Sunday. And the thing is, it's free. Just walk around and enjoy Porch Fest. It's going to go from 3 to 8 p.m. It's going to be in the Haney's Corner Art District. But I think they're going to have so many uh, porches. I'm thinking there's like 40 porches this uh, with this event. Uh, it'll expand, I think, a little bit outside of Haney's Corner. And I almost am pretty certain that our chief meteorologist, Wayne Hart, is going to have his porch going with some music too. They'll jo uh, join us live, by the way, uh, at 8.30. Hall of Fame homecoming weekend there at the Bluegrass uh, Museum there. Hall of Fame in Owensboro. It's going to be September the 1st. You've got Joe Mullins and the Radio Ramblers at 7 o'clock. $35 to get in there. And they're going to have some other bands performing for you on September 2nd, but $10 more. Uh, that's going to be at, at $45 uh, for that uh, event on Saturday. Friday after 5, it is the finale. September the 1st, that's Todd Tilgwin. Fire and Ice, Uncharted Band, Southern Rock and Country. You know Friday After Five. It's got a lot going on there. But also, uh, Colt Graves, who we reported will not be at Friday After Five now because he was canceled. He'll be performing tomorrow, at, but right there on the riverfront, but this time at the River Park Center at 630, and we are being told that is also free to attend. And the last event for you here is the 6th Annual Sunflower Experience. That's going to be on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Trunnell's Farm Market. I have heard that is a wonderful thing there with all those sunflowers. Uh, it starts at $18, but you can do a whole lot more if you want to. All kinds of attractions. Uh, I think they're going to have like an animal barnyard there too. Picture ops, delicious food and more. So the more you want to do, the more it will cost you. It goes up to $80, but again, I heard it's a wonderful event and very beautiful out there.